Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. Okay. I'm so excited about this. We have a very special guest in studio this morning cooking up something amazing. Uh, yes, I want to introduce you to the executive chef, my friends. This is Guillermo Gomez from Cabo San Lucas. Yes, from, yes, Esperanza, one of the Aubert's resorts, which, as you know, they are kind of amazing. Thank you so much for being here this Thank morning. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what you've got. I mean, everything looks so beautiful. All right, this is one of the fabulous items on your menu. Yes, there at yes. the uh, resort. So it's a little tuna. You guys, look at these little what looks like a tortilla, like right? A tortilla. Yeah. tortilla, actually it is. It uh, is a tortilla. It is a tortilla, but, but it's made with jicama. Can you believe that? So oh. it's, uh, yeah, and so I'm like, but, are, but the yellow and jicama, and that's because of the passion fruit that passion you Passion fruit, exactly. It's a dressing that you're going to use and that give the color and also the flavors. Wow. Colors are now, beautiful. I've never seen a passion fruit, but this is what it is. Now, what does this taste like? And what are those little things? So passion <laughs> fruit is, um, you know, it's a very important fruit in Mexico, uh -huh. tropical, so a little bit of a, a sour taste, mm -hmm. orange, uh, citrus, so wonderful for the jicama tortilla. And do you eat the whole thing? Yes, you seeds can. as well. Seeds yeah, as well. Oh, yeah. They are crunchy. They are really crunchy. tasty. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So what do we make it? So we are going to make a, a, a little taquito. Okay. So basically what I did is mm -hmm. um, I took uh, the jicama, mm -hmm. I peel it and I cut it yep. in this little uh, round uh, thing. So right. basically what we do now it's we take the the oh. nasturtium leaves. So this is also kind of a typical cress family of okay. leaves uh, that we use uh, for this so recipe. Pretty. Okay. So yeah, first of all, we're going to amazing. place this into the into our uh, tray. Tray. Okay. And I will explain explain very quickly how okay. to make the salsa. Okay. So ba basically, we have the passion fruits. We yep. use the seeds and everything. Mm -hmm. And then we will leave into the into this bowl with a mm -hmm. jicama mm -hmm. for a, a few hours, like a two hours will be fantastic. Okay, let it sit and marinate, okay. So seasoning here, mm -hmm. it's um, a little bit of uh, citrus salt, so mm -hmm. we're going to ascend that citrus part of, uh, of the jicama. Okay. And then we have the banero chili. Oh, so, look, look at the heat. kick. Need the heat. Be no. careful. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Tasty, powerful, yeah. little of identity. Okay. So we cut the banero chili in half and then we place into the oh. mix. Okay. Oh, that without chopping. If we chop, it will be too strong. Oh, oh. Ma 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 <laughs> okay. Maybe for us in Mexico, it's, it's, it's nice. It's okay. Not so much but, for um, us. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Just a little bit of um, flavor. So okay. this is the process to marinate the jicama. Okay. So now we have uh, this great yellow fin yes. tuna. Yes. I see you sliced it up already. Exactly. Okay. So in celebration of the amount of the seafood yes. in the United States, right? Right. So um, I decided to make this um, uh, recipe. So the tuna, uh, it's a loin, so we'll slice just um, like uh, cubes. Mm -hmm. So half inch a little smaller. Uh -huh. So very, you must okay. use a, a very sharp knife. Very so sharp, yes. Exactly. I'm glad you did that. You can okay. help me mix <laughs> can I do that? Yes, okay. please. And then do we start to fill? Yes, and then okay. we will put a, a little bit of right. the tuna into the... Just a little bit? Well, yeah. I, I like a meaty taco, so I'm just going to go like this. So here we have a mix of <laughs> cumin. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, go so ahead. We got about 30 seconds. Anis. Okay. And then oh, yes. we'll place a little of the tuna, a little bit more here. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you will. Uh -huh. And after that, we'll start making the sauce on oh. top. Okay, all right, you do that. So, okay. Oh. oh, and then look at this. And Presentation, this, uh, as you know, is everything. Right? Right? A little bit more on top of this. Uh -huh, yeah, you uh -huh. will. And we have something very special here. We have a watermelon pickle. Oh, I love what? the taste of cucumber that oh. the watermelon has in the white part. So I decided to make a pickle broth oh. and pickle the watermelon and place into the plate. My mouth is watering That's right crazy. now. That's crazy. crazy. I love oh. I mean, can we talk about the colors? Right. The, the smell, everything about this. So amazing. So, this is Cocina del Mar. This is Esperanza. Yeah. And this is the Coastal Baja cuisine that we do uh, All in of our that. kitchen. Right here, right here. So oh my amazing. gosh. Thank you so much for being here this so happy. morning. Yes. So happy. Please I try it. Oh, don't worry, I will. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the uh, information if yeah. you know, you're know you up in the Cabo San Lucas area and you just want to stop by and say hi to him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just swing on by. Just swing by. Just swing on by and he'll whip this up for you. All right, we've got all the information uh, linked up to our website, goodaysacramento.com. Oh, thank you so much. Colors. Thank you. Back thank you. Video. Everything, presentation is perfect. But one of the things I was thinking about is, um, as Julissa was talking about, she likes meaty tacos. Yeah. That's the one thing my wife and I argue about every time we have tacos. Oh. She puts too much in the taco. Oh, so it doesn't. And then it, I like it, it to falls fall out. apart. So yeah, I like the it. meat to fall out. We argue about that for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Why you put so much in a taco? Now I can't eat it. <laughs>